Well, hello everyone, and welcome to this comparison between Google Notebook LM versus ChatGPT. Which AI tool is right for you? Well, both are designed to boost your productivity and creativity, but they excel in different areas. By the end of this comparison, you'll know exactly which AI tool is the right fit for your needs, starting with the features. Now, while both leverage advanced AI for text generation and summarization, their core focus differs. Now, Notebook LM is an AI-powered research and note-taking assistant. It excels at processing and synthesizing information from your personal sources, such as PDFs, docs, websites, and videos, providing answers grounded in your material with citations. It uniquely offers audio overviews to turn sources into podcast-like discussions. ChatGPT, on the other hand, is a versatile conversational AI chatbot for generating content, engaging in dialogues, and performing broad queries. It handles general knowledge, creative text, code generation, data analysis, and image creation without needing user-provided sources. Now, when it comes to the pricing, Notebook LM offers a free tier for individuals, providing core note-taking and research assistance. But if you wish to upgrade to the Pro plan, you will have to pay €21.99 per month. For ChatGPT, it also provides a free plan, which is great for casual use with limited access, of course. The ChatGPT Plus plan is at $20 per month, and it's highly popular. It's recommended for most individual users for its extended limits, access to more capable ChatGPT 4.0 model, image generation, data analysis, and custom GPT creation. And you, of course, can get the Pro for $200 for everything in the Plus with unlimited access to advanced voice. And now to the pros and cons, starting with Google Notebook LM. With the pros, you have source grounding, where it gets answers directly linked to the uploaded sources with citations. Then you get personalized research, of course, based on what you've provided, audio overviews, which is a unique feature to convert sources into audio discussions or podcasts. Then you have Google integration, where you can seamlessly work with Google's ecosystem. Then you have deep dive analysis, and it excels at analyzing and synthesizing curated content. On the flip side with the cons, it cannot be treated like a general chatbot, as it is less suited for broad creative writing or general Q&A. It has limited free features, less creative output, source dependency, and availability. Now, this is because while expanding, it might have more regional restrictions. For ChatGPT, on the bright side, you have a versatile conversational AI, which is great for a wide range of tasks from writing to coding. Then you also have advanced model access with other pay plans, giving you access to powerful models like GPT-40. You also can create customized GPTs, such as AI agents for specific needs. Then you have the multi-modal capabilities and comprehensive features. For the cons, you have a knowledge cutoff. The free version's information may not be current without paid features, and ChatGPT tends to hallucinate as it sometimes can't generate incorrect information. You have usage limits as the free tier has significant message caps and feature limitations. Then the subscription costs. The monthly fee can be significant if the benefits aren't fully utilized. Then you have the generalist nature. It is less specialized for deep source ground or research compared to Notebook LM. In conclusion, the best choice between Google Notebook LM and ChatGPT really depends on your main goals. If you need an intelligent research assistant to deeply analyze your document and organize information, Google Notebook LM is perfect. If you require a versatile AI for content creation, coding, general knowledge, or creative brainstorming, ChatGPT is your go-to. Now, many users will find value in using both. Do let us know which will be your choice and if this was helpful, and thanks for watching.